I'm currently working on a KNX project and I'm here at the house entrance where you can see four VMAR KNX switches. Although I've added labels to make it clear that the upper left switch controls the hallway lights and the switch next to it controls the living room and the dining room, I still have the feeling that over time I might forget the functions of each button and the same could happen to the client. Wouldn't it be better if the buttons of the KNX switches were organized like this? For example, in the hallway switch, I've programmed four buttons to activate different hallway scenes. The button with the sun symbol will activate the bright scene. The button with the person relaxing will activate the relax scene. The button with the moon and stars will activate the night scene. The off button will activate the off scene. The living room and dining room switch will have the same functionality as the hallway switch. This button will activate a scene that turns on the exterior lights and this button will turn them off. Additionally, I have these buttons to control two sets of spots lights in the entrance pergola. In this episode, I will guide you through the process of ordering engravings for your VMAR KNX switches. So, stay tuned. For this tutorial, I will be using the KNX switch 01580 from VMAR. For more details, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. To get started, you will need a similar table like the one I created here using Microsoft Excel. Here is the quantity of the buttons. In VMAR, the buttons are packaged in pairs with one upper and one lower button. To find the symbol for our buttons, we will need this symbol library from VMAR. VMAR offers various product lines and in my case, I will be using Arche for my symbols. Let's move on to ETS6 and open a KNX switch to check its functionality. For example, this switch has four push buttons, each configured to activate a scene. In my projects, I often use scenes. For more details, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description below this video. For the hallway lights, I have created four scenes. The bright scene, where the hallway lights will be set 100%. The off scene, to turn off the hallway lights, the relax scene where the hallway lights will be set to 30% and the night scene where the hallway spots will be turned off and the hallway LED strip will be dimmed to 10%. Now, from Vimar's library, I will select four symbols for my scenes. For the bright scene, I will choose the sun symbol. In the symbol column of my table, I will write the symbol's ID. The buttons will be white and this corresponds to the upper left button. I will do the same for my off scene using the off symbol and I will add its ID. The color is white and this corresponds to the lower left button. As mentioned earlier, Vimar's buttons come in pairs and this will be the first pair. All that's left is to fill in the buttons column. From Vimar's product catalog, under the Arkea line that I'm using here, you will find that the two white half buttons have the product number 19751.b If you need black buttons instead, the product number is 19751 without the letter B. So in my table, I will write 19751.b In this list, I will also add the individual address of the KNX switch to make the installation of the buttons easier. So, when I receive the buttons with the symbols, using this table, I will know exactly which buttons are for which switch. Let's see another example with this switch that I have enabled only the left buttons. It will require two double half buttons. The product number for this is 19752.b. This switch controls the outdoor lights using an on scene and an off scene. For the on scene, I will choose this symbol, and for the off scene, I will choose this one. There are plenty of symbols to choose from to meet your specific needs. Take a look at these symbols for opening and closing your curtains. And if these symbols are not enough, you can send your own icons to Vimar. When you're finished, 
your list should look like this. Save it and send a copy to Vimar or to your local distributor. After approximately 20 days, you will receive a package from Vimar with your engravings. These are the buttons with the engravings. And this is Vimar's KNX Switch 01580. Let's install the buttons into the switch. Notice that the KNX switch has on the side a small arrow indicating the correct position of the switch. I really like it. Here are all the engravings. Let me now replace these push buttons with the new ones. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you find our tutorials helpful, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the upcoming KNX tutorials. Until then, happy KNXing and I will see you in the next episode.